We've just discovered that it's second order with respect to the concentration of E. But how are we going to find the order with respect to the concentration of D when there are no two experiments where the concentration of E has been kept constant? We're going to use our simultaneous equations again. And this time, let's choose any two experiments. Let's choose experiment 1 and 3 where we've varied the concentration of D. It doesn't matter that we've varied the concentration of E because we already know the order with respect to the concentration of E. So, let's choose experiments 1 and 3 to compare. So again, using our simultaneous equation, we know that the rate, so let's choose the faster rate to go on the top just to make our lives simpler. So that's the rate in experiment 3 divided by the rate in experiment 1 is equal to the concentration of D, remember the velocity constant, the rate constant cancels out, so the concentration of D in experiment 3 divided by the concentration of D in experiment 1. Don't know the order with respect to D yet, so we'll give that a value of X. Multiplied by the concentration of E in experiment 3, and we know that already that's second order with respect to the concentration of E, divided by the concentration of E squared in experiment 1. Let's now put out substituting our values, looking at the data we've been given. So the rate in experiment 3 is 1.57 times 10 to the minus 1. The rate in experiment 1 is 1.16 times 10 to the minus 2. And that is equal to the concentration of D in experiment 3, which is 1.88 times 10 to the minus 2, divided by the concentration of D in experiment 1, which is 1.25 times 10 to the minus 2. We don't know the order with respect to D, but since the order is the same, we can simplify that, raising it to the power of X. We also know the concentration of E in experiment 3 is 1.75, divided by the concentration of E in experiment 1, which is 5.81 times 10 to the minus 1. And we know that that's second order, so we can square it. Go to your calculators now, that simplifies to 13.53 and that simplifies to 1.504 to the power of x because we still don't know the concentration and this simplified to 9.072. Take this over to the other side, that comes to 13.53 over 9.072 which equals 1.0 1.504 to the power x that comes to 1.49 that's approximately 1.5 1.49 1 1.5 to the x and therefore x equals 1 and its first order with respect to the concentration of component A.